Welcome to another training session of the TIA portal. In today's session, we will learn how we can program a PLC in the ladder logic to control the numeric cylinder using the 5x3-way solenoid valve. We will see how we can make the logic to stop the cylinder at three different positions, fully retracted or home position, mid position, and fully extended or end position. Before going further in today's tutorial, if you like our videos, please make sure to press the subscribe button and press the bell icon. In this way, you will never miss our videos. Let's see the setup for the today's tutorial. We have three push buttons connected to the PLC inputs I0.5, I0.6 and I0.7. These push buttons will give signal to move cylinder to home, mid and in position. Next we have a 5 by 3 way solenoid valve to move the cylinder shaft in reverse and forward direction. This valve has two coils. The coil for the forward movement is connected at Q0.0 output of the PLC and the coil for the reverse cylinder movement is connected at Q0.1 output of the PLC. Next, we have three reed switches connected at the cylinder body to detect the cylinder shaft position. These reed switches are connected to I0.0, I0.1 and I0.2 inputs of the PLC. Now, the task is that if we press the mid position push button, the cylinder should move to the mid position. When we press the end position push button, the cylinder should extend fully up to the end position. And when we press the home push button, the cylinder should retract fully up to home position. Now let's go to the TIA portal software and see the ladder logic. As you can see that in the network number one, we have a logic to make request to go to the home position. In the network number two, we have a logic to make a request to go to the mid position. In the network number three, we have written the logic to make request for the end position. In the network number one, when we press the home position push button I0.7 and cylinder piston is not at the home position read switch I0.2, it will hold on the request bit home M0.0. In the network number two, if we press the mid position push button I0.6 and the cylinder position is not at the mid position read switch I0.1, it will hold on the request bit mid position M0.1. In the network number three, if we press the end position button I0.5 and cylinder piston is not at the end position read switch I0.0, it will hold on the request bit end position M0.2. In network number four, if the request to home M0.0 bit turns on and the cylinder piston is not at the home position sensor I0.2, it will latch on the cylinder reverse command Q0.1 through its own normal open contact to turn on the reverse coil. This way the cylinder will move towards the home position read switch. As soon as the cylinder piston reach the home position sensor I0.2, this normal close contact will unlatch the reverse command Q0.1. Next, if the request for the mid position M0.1 bit turns on and cylinder is at end position right now, it will latch on the reverse command output Q0.1. This will bring the cylinder from the end position to the mid position sensor. When the cylinder reaches the mid position sensor I0.1, this contact opens and unlatch the Q0.1 output and cylinder stops at the mid position. In the network number 5, if the request to the end position M0.2 bit turns on and the cylinder piston is not at the end position sensor I0.0, 
it will latch on the cylinder forward command Q0.0 through its own normal open contact to turn on the forward coil. This way the cylinder will move towards the end position read switch I0.0. Now as soon as the cylinder piston reach the end position sensor I0.0, this normal close contact will unlatch the reverse command Q0.0. Next, if the request for the mid position M0.1 B turns on and the cylinder is at home position right now, it will latch on the forward command output Q0.0. This will bring the cylinder from home position to the mid position sensor. When the cylinder reaches the mid position sensor I0.1, this contact opens and unlatch the Q0.0 output and cylinder stops at the mid position. So this is the program for the today's project. Next we will upload the ladder logic in the PLC and let's see how does it works. Right now the cylinder is at home position. So its home read switch I0.2 is on now. As we press the mid position push button, the mid position request bitm 0.1 latch on through its own normal open contact. If we come to the network number 5, here you can see that as the mid position request bitm 0.1 turns on, it latch on the forward command output 0.0 and the cylinder starts to move forward towards the mid position. As soon as the cylinder reaches the mid position read switch I0.1, this contact opens and turns off the Q0.0 forward command and cylinder stops at the mid position. Next, if we press the I0.5 end position push button, it will latch on the M0.2 end position request bit. Now, if we come to the network number 5, the M0.2 latch on forward command Q0.0 and cylinder starts to move forward. As soon as the cylinder reaches the end position sensor I0.0, this normal close contact opens and unlatch the PLC output Q0.0. Next, if we want to move the cylinder back to the mid position, we have to move the cylinder shaft in the reverse direction. Now, if we press the mid position push button I0.6, it will turn on M0.1 mid position request bit. In the network number 4, the M0.1 bit turns on the Q0.1 reverse command and cylinder starts to move backward towards the mid position. As soon as the piston reaches the mid position sensor I0.1, this normal close contact turns off the output Q0.1 and cylinder stops at the mid position. Next, if we press the home push button I0.7, the bit M0.0 for the home request turns on. This bit in the network number 4 turns on the Q0.1 reverse command. As soon as the cylinder reaches the home position, the I0.2 read switch turns on. And this normal close contact opens and turns off the Q0.1 reverse command and cylinder stops at the home position. So this is how we can control the cylinder with 5x3 wave solenoid valve using the PLC ladder logic. That's the end of the today's session. If you like our videos, if you like our videos, make sure to press the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the notification of the upcoming video tutorials. Till next time, take care and goodbye.